Welcome back to the channel guys, today I will bring you some more Cyberpunk 2077 gameplay and performance and today we're going to be playing at 2560 by 1440 so it makes a change from 4k of course the LSS is going to be used so it is 2560 by 1440 somewhat not native so uh, I'm just going to go through the in-game settings now uh, 90 field of view, depth field of lens flares are enabled. I don't like film grain. I'm not a fan of chromatic aberration as well. So that's those are both off. Everything else is at high or ultra. You can again push up to psycho when it comes to screen space quality and ray tracing, but you lose about 15 FPS, which is not the best thing when the game needs as much performance as you can get your hands on. DLSS quality is at quality, so this is the best image quality you're going to get while using it. It doesn't mean um, you're at native though, and um, I wouldn't usually use the LSS below 4K, but uh, it's a needs must situation. This game requires a ridiculous amount of power uh, while running ray tracing. So uh, I've got a uh, side job to do. So I'm going to call uh, Sandra Dorset and see what she has to say. V, you're V, right? You find the data bank? Right to the chase, huh? Well, you'll never guess where I found it. Scav hunt. Sandra, you there? Yeah, it's just that, well, ever since they told me what happened, I just can't stop seeing them. I figured they must have had it. But, you know, it's not like I was going to go looking for it myself after. I keep telling myself it's over. The ones who took me are gone. Listen, you've got Trauma Team Platinum. You couldn't be in better hands. I'm sure they already fixed the Sig Jammer exploit. True. But who knows what the scabs will cook up next time? <laughs> anyway, that's all in the past now. Got bigger fish to fry. You want to talk about it? It's nothing. Just bring the data back to my apartment. Sending you the address now. Thanks. So, most of you will probably know she's the girl that you went and saved with, um, um, damn, I forgot his name now, the guy that you're, you play with at the start, and, um, she's obviously a lot better now, she was in a bit of bad shape when you went and saved her, let me just call my, uh, car, got a few, so I have to, uh, what the hell, what the hell happened there, so again, this game, uh, does always produce some interesting bugs and glitches. <laughs> uh, you have to laugh at it sometimes. Anyway, let's go to her, her house. I wonder where she lives. She looks like she's made for money, of course. She's got like this platinum healthcare kind of thing where, I don't know if you guys have seen the mission, we should have done by now if you've played the game. Like, you've got this, like, private medical paramedics that are armed to the teeth that will come and get you from any sticky situation. Like, it's crazy what you can pay for if you're super rich. So, yeah, holding over 60 frames per second, which is expected, especially with a card of a level of the NVIDIA RTX 1390. So, I'd be very disappointed while using the LSS if I wasn't able to uh, get over 60 frames. So it seems to be holding to mid 70s, which is feels nice and smooth. Now, if you were to dis disable ray tracing, I'm sure you'd get a considerable uh, frame increase. But the fact that I'm playing with DLSS and below 4K, you may as well uh, enable all the bells and whistles, all the eye candy, should we say. Okay, so there was a little bit of a stutter there in the game, uh, but they don't come often, which is nice. But the game is obviously far from perfect. I've played it from start to finish, had a considerably better experience than some of the uh, console gamers, that's for sure. Um, but I, I, I'm not going to deny that the game does need work, and you know, I can talk about this to the cows go home. So I'm not going to harp on about it. It's a beautiful game, one of my favourites. Um, it's just let itself down a bit, that's all. Um, hopefully, 
things improve. Anyway, we're at our destination now. I'm just trying to think where I should park. I'm just gonna park up here. Screw it. Okay, so the easiest way to get round to her uh, is through this way. She lives in some fancy apartment. So 5950x boosting on multiple cores over 4.7 gigahertz. That's pretty surprising, actually. As you can see, um, looking at the left-hand side um, monitoring stuff, I'm using MSI Afterburner and Ruby Tuna Statistics. So we can see that um, SMT isn't completely being used for a 16-core uh, processor. Um, I don't think. CD Project Red thought it necessary to enable Sandra, all me, that usage, but it would be nice to see data it. Bank. Sandra, you in there? Are you alone? Did anyone follow you? What does it look like? Come on. Don't like leaving the door open. Still worried about the scavs? My um friend told me your memory'd be scraped clean. The scavengers? No, I'm worried about. Um, no, it doesn't matter. You bring the data bank? Here. Don't worry. It's completely intact. When someone tells me not to worry, it usually means they're hiding something. You wouldn't happen to have seen what's inside, would you? I haven't watched it. I'm a professional. I have a reputation to uphold. Hmm. Good. Then here you go, for your professionalism. I threw in a little extra for minding your own data. Thanks. Be seeing you. Oh, really? I'm not going to get to shoot anyone? Well, that's fairly disappointing. I like the way she's gone on around with the deco, the deco though. She's got this kind of Japanese kind of theme to it. Got the bonsai tree going. A really, really small tea table. I like that. I knew she'd have, I knew she'd have some nice decked out apartment. That's uh, it's very nice. I do like that. Anyway, time to go. I'm sure I can uh, find a local kind of task on the map and just uh, quench my thirst of blood. Let's have a look and see what we can do in this area. So I'm here. There seems to be an assault in progress around the corner. Um, so we can always go and look into that and shoot a few people. So... It's going to set a waypoint. Sometimes you have to zoom in to do it. I don't know why this game does it. It's weird. Just ride the elevator back downstairs. Maybe there'll be some goons waiting for me or something like that. Who knows? So yeah, 5950X boosting all the way up to 5 gigahertz or more. Um, it's such an improvement from the 3000 series. And I'm just looking forward to what uh, AMD have coming next. And also Intel, I've, I've seen some reports that um, 11900K is breaking all sorts of single threaded records. So, you know, Intel finally got the message and AMD may have just woken the sleeping beast because they are losing market share. Not much of it, but enough for Intel now to realize, look, we've got to do something about this. Anyway, let's head over to where the assault is and uh, try and get into a bit of a fight. So on my end, it, it does look a tad bit blurry and um, nowhere near as sharp as 4K. But that's because I'm not using an 84K screen and I'm using DLSS. So it may look better on a native uh, 1440p screen. But from now at least, it's not looking the best. I'm just going to leave the car here because it's solely around the corner. Bad parking, I know, but what are you going to do? It looks like here are the perks, so... Let's just, let's just kick things off. I don't really care who's in the wrong or who's in the right. I'm just going to shoot everyone with a yellow marker on their head. Okay. Shot. 
Is that all of them? Oh, surely there's got to be some more. Seems that was it. Really was it. There wasn't really much going on here, fortunately. I'll have a look around and see if I can find some gang members. So you guys can kind of just take in the sights. I mean, I wish more was explained around the cyberpunk world. I think there was a new, there was a war or something, and the fact that they're advertising real water as like a product is very, very fascinating to me. So obviously, some resources have probably been contaminated and not widely available, or at least not um, how we would get it. And that is one high ass tower. I'm just going to walk around town, see if I can find any trouble to get into. Just taking the side. It's getting around 80 frames per second, uh, which is nice and smooth. There are some frame spikes here and there, but it's not going to break your, your gaming experience. It's not as bad as the medium that I was playing the other day. Now, that has some serious uh, frame, time, frame time issues. This game doesn't. It uh, kind of comes and goes. Ah, oh, it looks like we've got some tiger claws over here. I do like killing these tiger claws. Scumbags. We just scan them just to make sure. Can get a bit closer. Try not to get knocked over here. They're just yeah, they are tiger claws. I thought as much because they always ride bikes. I've got these like bionicle legs, so I can jump up here and get a good like uh, position. So uh, I'm gonna try take these guys out. It's one down. You know where I am now. All three down. <laughs> oh. It's a bit of a one sided fight. But why not give yourself the advantage if you've paid for it? Definitely spend a lot of money with the Ripper Dock to upgrade my V. My V is a very, very high level. I think I've got max street cred um, level as well. Let's get onto the bike so you guys can kind of see a third person perspective. turn the radio off because I just don't really want to listen to that. I like this bike though, it looks pretty cool. Almost like a British super bike. So it seems like when you're in the vehicles you do take a little bit of a performance here. It always seems to be in the mid 70s. I don't even know where I'm going, I'm just kind of randomly riding around. Let's see what's down here. Just looking for some gang members to execute. Let's see if I can find any Valentinos. I can hear some uh, some trouble over here. Maybe the police need a bit of help. Want some backup? Coming with them headshots. Oh, I missed three in a row there. That's shocking. Let's see if I can just one shot him. Yep, they are done. I helped the police out in that battle. Hopefully they won't try to arrest me or anything for getting in their business. Not even a thank you. Just pulls out a cigarette and starts smoking. Anyway. This was just a look at a cyberpunk at 1440p, performance is acceptable, um, albeit a lot lower than 
what most games would be, but this game's using some cutting edge technology, so you know how many games are this open scale and have ray tracing and this many um IP NPCs as well. So uh we can't just keep comparing it to other games as if things work the same. <laughs> 